it on the memes, you know, so yeah, yeah. dapsing, he calls it. So that's, that's what, what NRG calls it, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, listen, I mean, here we go, because this is Immortals. Last finally, chance saloon. Right? And this is this is a team that's failed in the past. They've had a season this year that's been much better for them. Fallen's been praising them for a while. They've done some roster changes, and they still might come up short with G2 on a map they just got slaughtered on. Yeah, by Mouse Sports as well. Um, here we go then. G2 versus Immortals. All on the line here. And we go into the pistol round. It looks like four door and one towards main. The Sadak is tactic, I think we call this one. It will be Shoxy with that smoke. That'll go towards highway. Flash towards the core position. This is looking very good. It's one of my favorites, Matt. So we'll see what happens here as we go into the flashbang. That'll be the queue to go out the door. Looking to actually open up the bomb site here. And no CTs actually be finding them straight away. It's more of a retake setup and bolt strikes first. Good shot onto Smiths. How happy are you to see that four door strat? I know, I know you right? love it. Steel, meanwhile, on highway is going to try and do what he can to get back toward the site. Phelps has actually wrapped all the way around and got to that door position, and the door is left open, so he has an opportunity. I don't think they'll expect him here this quickly. The problem is they're not really lined up to give him shots, only toward quad. Now a position revealed. Two players staring him down. He does find one, but immediately Steel gets back into scream, so it's not the best situation for Steel G2. Now they've got a man advantage with low HP on Lucas. Chalk does miss some shots, but they can actually close this out. It's just still remaining. Well done. Wraps back out. Two players quad. Easy to control in a pistol round. And four kills for RPK. Yeah, can be a very powerful pistol strategy there, especially when it's on more of a retake scenario for the Immortals. It's Shoxy. He's taking a bit of a risk there. He's by himself towards that A main position. If the CDs do push him, which can be quite common, he gets taken down. The round's over. There's not really much his teammates can do from that door position. Luckily enough, though, he gets towards A main, smokes the highway, flashes in as well. As soon as the flash pops, four people coming out towards that squeaky door position, swarming the bomb side as well. And the CT should be flashed, they have to fall back, it's really difficult to hold them off, so very well executed there from G2, Immortals can't do anything about it, bomb goes down and rounds over, and will be a semi-force buy from Immortals here, three players getting the head armor and upgraded pistols, still just on that deagle, same story for Henny as well, he's got a P250, and aggressive towards A main it seems as well, they've got one flashbang in the hands of Lucas, that'll be thrown in momentarily, and his teammates will strike when the feeling is right, like that? I do, I do. Well, you know, it's all right. This feeling is definitely right, though, for Henny. Because he gets in, finds one, Phelps follows it up. A lot of players pushing him in. That does give Scream the opportunity to do exactly that. Slip in the back door, in behind them, and as they retreat, just takes them all down. Lovely shot behind Forklift as well. Yep, two on one. Still a chance for Steel to do something with this. Of course, Scream's low HP. That's caught in the open. It's going to be shocks. Timing it to perfection there. 2 0. And Immortals, like we said, forced by in the second round. Kept two players on reasonable money. So it's not a huge deal going forward. Henny, of course, is the AWPA. So he'll be able to get that in the next round. But it should be that redundant round we normally talk about. And what is this? That's, uh, that's me and you next year, Henry. The evil. <laughs> That's uh, last year. What is that? Is that me? Let's play it cool. It's it, yes, it is. That is your face. You do look. You make an excellent old lady. I will say. <laughs> it's <is> horrible. <laughs> right then. Okay. Well, hopefully, I don't look like that next year. But you, you also look like you're in Professor X's chair. <laughs> yeah. So don't worry. I'll take care of you. <laughs> Smoke okay. off and shocks gets close to beat. Four uh, Max Tens and a Galoia against that full eco. This will be interesting. If five players do survive, they're going to have the heavy SMG set up there. But shots at the farm from Cash gets the first kill, takes down Lucas, and he manages to slip out of the smoke as well. So look at his teammates all towards that A side of the map as well. So he's just keeping that full B stack. This couldn't have gone any better for G2 in this round. It's Shock staying alive, finding the first kill, and looking at far more money as well. It's 22 HP, probably doesn't want to overcommit at this point. Full back, don't give the CDs anything as he manages to make it back towards mid warehouse. Steel runs far back this time, all the way through to T-spawn, and there is a bit of a transition there. Shock's waiting for this to happen. They know they've funneled them back, so... It's kind of reverse roles at this point in time, with the T-sides occupying most of the CT territory. Oh. Bomb was obviously already planted as this, and they're just tracking them down. They do it successfully. 3 nothing. Now we see guns. What guns will we see? All got, Well, that's exactly it. They've got enough for it. Well, this is a morsel to try many times to make it to the major map, and they've fallen flat few times now this is it against g2 not ideal circumstance and they've lost a the pistol as well you're always going to be limited after force buying in the second round when you go into round number four here so it's henny on the orb shore but you can see only one kit and in terms of utility only three smokes as well that's not really enough you need to be getting a little bit more aggressive this time try and get henny that first pick or we'll see he decides to go he's towards middle by himself so we're going to see if anyone goes aggressive the good news is g2 do have mac 10s and glills it's going to be shocks and body with the ak-47 so for now it is a default. Two players towards Squeaky Door, two in B storage. And Body just holding the mid area as well. You're going to have to operate pretty quickly here. Phelps does go aggressive. Like I said, when you're up against it in terms of these sort of buys, you want to try and get that first pick. Something working in your favor. So you know you can have a real tough time in the clutch situations. 
Bolts will be the one still peeking in toward A main. Now this becomes a little bit interesting because we saw Phelps going aggressive. He leaves Bolts in that position, but he goes back. So Bolts could get caught. Door open, just barely gets back toward Forklift to find one kill, but can't get behind it to protect him. Potentially find another. And they know now Sight's open, so go for the wide plant. Good post plant position for G2 to have. Smokes off as well. And Chox won't just sit, wait, push back in, misses the first shots, can't transfer it to the right. Phelps will find an opening. This means Scream's got to go aggressive because there's no one over toward Quad, which is, although yes, wide plant, still a bit of an issue to control how many players can funnel toward the site. Good shot from Henny. Exactly that. They open up some access, they walk in, and they're going to get a defuse, and they are going to play the aggressive mind games. I do enjoy it. It's a major qualifier. Get in the heads. They're screaming already. Yeah, they're getting pumped up, but it's still a difficult round to go forward. They keep three players alive, which is good. That could have got interesting. Henny with no head armor as well. Scream faces him with the MAC-10, manages to do some damage. I can't find that headshot there, but there it is. Immortals do arrive, certainly enough to buy for G2 going forward. They get that bomb down, bomb down. the AKs start to come in. 3-1, and we manage to get uh, rifles as well for Immortals. I say get in the heads. There is full noise cancellation, and, and I you know can't see them, they, so. you can't see them. They definitely can't hear them, but if anything, it does keep your motivation. Yeah, absolutely. You want to show that you're here to win. You want to be pumped up. Everyone's on the same page. That's very important to keep the morale high. So yeah, it's a good thing to point out. And look at this play. Four players towards the A side of the map. Are they going aggressive? Are they trying to shut this down as quickly as possible? It will be... Actually, Lucas leading the charge of the AK, flashed in. Smiths does take the brunt of it, but it gets a shot off, and at least they have positional control now of the A storage area. Could smoke it out, and it's an Irish side of the map for the terrorists for now. The bolts gets toward the lockers. And wait for the after school special while Lucas covers off toward the door, and they continue to put this early aggression in toward that side of the map. It's going to be a late boost. The reason I bring this up is if they continue to anchor that position down without coverage, this time they've got a lot of it, they can easily be, as we saw Scream do, get taken down from that, you know, flanked out from that back door. Shox is waiting there this time, but with the boost up, now they can start to transition a little bit differently. And in fact, they're going to stay aggressive even with that boost, so that might be overlooked as a result of that. Meanwhile, mid, Phelps will fire down and try and catch anyone off. Henny instead will find Scream at Highway, because they did actually push the player at Z back, and therefore had a bit of control to work with. Yeah. He's got that first pick as well. Scream going down. It looks like an A sort of execution coming in here, but still aggressive is Bolt. He actually gets a dink towards Smiths as well, takes him down to one HP. That's Yorpa. Shock's trying to do what he can in the squeaky door. Now they have to push through the smoke. CT's boosted as well. Very ready for this push. Lucas is still up there. He's found two. Slips out. They now know he's there. Smokes off everywhere. Third as well. They didn't even check it on the way through, and he's wow. got everyone on the way in. That late boost is works wonders. Four kills. G2 may be panicking slightly there as well. They lose that first pit, they commit towards A, and it's Immortals being assertive at the start of the round there, getting that A storage control, pushing the T's back, making them utilize a lot of their grenades at the start of the point there, and it's going to be pushing through the smoke. That's almost a dream scenario for Lucas there. He's got his teammates taking the aggro away. G2 are going to have great screens. They come through the A main entrance. He finds four kills, and you can hear them getting pumped once again. I assume this is an eco coming for G2. Tech 9, speed 50s, a couple of smokes here and there, and some body armor as well. A chance for Immortals to tie things up there and it looks like a fast mid play coming in potentially. Going to be smoked out for now. You normally want to be flashing through these though and try and get the drop on the defending Orpa, but it's not going to be enough to take down Henny. He gets the first kill as they make their way towards Vents. Steals the only one inside B right now, but there's fast rotations. Lucas and Trees smoke off. Henny's above. Lucas just goes spray through. He's already found another. And Henny's got, oh, I was going to say has vision. <laughs> he has line of sight, but he's blinded. It won't matter. Steel swings out, takes them all. Three straight rounds and convincingly as well. This is looking well. Four Immortals. They'll get guns back out. What's the buy gun? Oh, I say they're going to get guns back out. They've got enough, but they go through the AWP and drop it over. Does RPK throw it? They've got the availability. What's yeah. the call? They, they certainly can buy, but uh, yeah, you're right. Let's just work out what we're going to do here. You have got four pauses available. I thought at this point, probably a good time to take one. We're just kind of working that out, but the buy starts to come in. It doesn't look like the AWP is going to be available for them. Five AKs and limited utility, but G2 have got enough to be execution. They're actually very good at that side of the map. Henny, though, aggressive, of course. I'm liking this from the Brazilians. And that's the shot he had to nail, though. On a plate it was, but can't find the shot. And he's going to have a teammate pushing up a little bit more aggro towards that big storage box. And a boost comes over as well. Immortals are here to win. They want to surprise you two and find these initial frags. And playing this fast early really sets a tone that they can start to control as well. Set for B. Lucas still forward at the box. Has Henny inside of the site, well back, removed and isolated from these smokes. Well, it's all bounced as well. That'll go in toward Checker. Lucas, got to be very careful with this position. Goes over the box. Wants to play inside this boat. Sees the guns coming through. They fire high. What? He picks up two. Backing away. Fully blinded. And it's going to work out so well because he fires over the box. And a fourth. What is this round from Lucas? That is incredible. 
absolutely sick. Like he said, Lucas looked like he was in a world of trouble there. Goes to the full spray for his smoke. He got a 4K before and he does it once again in such a crucial round as well. G2 going towards that B site and running through smoke. This is a bit of a nightmare for G2. They're doing it time and time again. We just saw it before on the A side of the map. This time they do it towards B and it's Lucas doing a very good job to be fair, but the team's got such a hard time to even work out where he is. They can hear the information from their teammates. But they're coming through grey screens and trying to actually pinpoint exactly where he is one by one and he mows them down. Great, great play by Lucas though. And that should be the money in the bin once again as Immortals find four rounds in a row. G2, almost, I wouldn't say a locked in certainty for the major, but certainly one of the, the headline runners. Like I, I guess maybe a dark horse considering recent form, but you would expect them to be part of this top eight. And now after losing four rounds in a row, they will be down to tech nine to partial buy as uh, there will be a maximum loss bonus next round. I mean, you get $3,400 on top of their investment now. So you want to keep the money around the 2K mark. So Tech Nines, PD50s, normally want a bit of utility to work with here. It's going to be very unlikely to make this happen, but G2 are one point renowned as, especially the French players in general, known to be very good with these upgraded pistols, but just don't really have enough to work with here. And they look like they want to go through this smoke quickly. Phelps fires in, flashed, goes aggressive because he can't fall back. He'll be in the open, and this actually works for him. He's gotten behind them all. Bolts and Henny take the first two. Scream follows up. They will get a bomb plant. That smoke is still there, but do they know he's in there? Do they know he's gone back toward the garage? Because post plant, you'd expect him to want that position. He's missed the shots, though. That gives it away, and shocks and Smiths. Wow. Turn this round completely. They now have the advantage. Steel will catch Smiths pushing forward, but they've got an AK on shocks as a result of no one inside of the site. And Henny's staring down highway to try and contain to allow Steel to get more aggressive. He smokes off A main as well. He still had one left over to rotate back. There's one kit. Steel has it. He's the one that's close in. Flash from his teammate. Slightly mistimed step forward from Steel because he gets caught by it. And this is going to give Shocks a chance to go in behind. Scream's got one Shocks. Doesn't even need to do much. Scream's got the other as well. <laughs> Just as I said, not really much to work with there. Of course, the Tech Nines prevail. And you could see it was a little bit sloppy there. Immortals probably should have been aware it's going to be some sort of eco situation. If you're tracking the money like that, they didn't get the bomb down previously. It's 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 questionable to play that close to the, the, the A main, the mouth of the entrance there at that point. Flash comes in. They have to push through the smoke. It's very sloppy. He's actually locked out the situation on the A site. And his teammates can't do much about it. The Tech Nines, lots of running gun potential there, especially at close range. And Immortals give a round away. Just as they're on such a good streak as well. They still have money to buy themselves. Round number nine in a very exciting half so far. But Shoxi, he's on the AWP this time as well. They have been mixing up the orb responsibility between himself and Smiths. Oh, he dropped today. But I guess he must have had the, the decent spawn. So Phelps forward gets boosted up. They do the, the draw for who's going to play who. In front of the players every night, they have the option to sit there and watch it. A lot of them go home after their games. But today, obviously, everyone was sticking around to find out who they're playing in this fifth round, this very important round. When Envious got Vega, they cheered, and which I think you would have done maybe before the NIP game. We saw how close that was. When yeah, G2 sure. got Immortals, Shocks looked very nervous. Well, yeah, they're, they're a difficult team to contain. You never know what you're going to get. Lots of talent available to them in terms of the mechanical skill. Very, very on point in that regard. Had a difficult game against Mouse Sports, but turning up to this one, 4-4 so far. This is a big round for either side in terms of the money game going forward. Henny, he'll be at that AWP towards middle. It looks like another B split coming in here from G2 at the moment. They have got the utility, five smokes still, and the Molotovs to work with. Going to be starting to use a bit of those grenades now as they try to push Henny back. He's the only player towards me. I think we have got steel in the vents as well, but he's only on 37 HP. Can't do a ton of damage from that area with that sort of HP there. Henny waiting. Ooh, does lag up Smiths inside of the smoke, considering he had no vision. Times it well. They'll get inside the vent with one player, but Steel was waiting for that. You should have expected that to be hit any time. As he was sitting and waiting with information as well. Either way, it's all going to be countered out because they catch off good crossfires oh. in the sight. As soon as I say that, it changes. Body finds Lucas. Shock slips in and finds Phelps. Body goes down to just a mere 6 HP, but I'm going to have a bomb down on this. No nade thrown forward. It's just flashes to work with to try and get back inside of the sight. Shock stays on the platform and Body underneath of Heaven is in the right position now. He doesn't quite know that. He's still considering the fact they could come from another angle. That would be a problem for him, but thankfully, it's both from Tree. In they go. Flashes out. They spot him up easy. They know Shocks is on the side. A good retake from Immortals. They'll go to their fifth round. And there it is. That GTB split coming in there, going through the smoke at middle. And he gets the leg shot in. Like he said, still can't get anything from the vents there. It was a really tight exchange back and forth on the B side there with the two on two situation going in favor of Immortals. The bomb is fine for G2 Shaw, which gives them an extra $800, but they have been fully reset at this stage. Bolts and Lucas doing a hell of a job there finishing things off and it's going to be immortals taking the lead here and like i said the bomb going down still i don't think they have enough to buy here a few players could 
I'll have a look at the money for now. It's going to be six here available for Shocks. Screaming not far behind, but three of the players can't really buy. Looks like they are going to be forcing this one, though. They actually have gone all in the stage. It's going to be a couple of AKs, a Tech 9 there. Smith's just on a P250. So in terms of the money left over, they've got 1,400 on Shocks. So they will be definitely on an eco if they lose this one. But to see what they can do here, they have the limited weaponry. Two players on pistols. They're all available, but... I've seen this assertiveness of Immortals. That's what we love on cash. We want to see them actually pushing in and finding these first frag once again towards A-Main. Molotov to Dr. T's office and slight wall bang damage going towards Phelps there. That's going to be the hand of shocks. I like this. Okay. This is a good exchange. <laughs> they both know they're there. Oddly enough, not really a lot of damage going on to Bolts considering. I want to get rid of all the ammo. Keep in mind as well, 10 teams have won premier level events this year. I would have expected all 10 to make it through. Some of them would have been on the brink. G2, for example. Nip went down in the most likely fashion. They're already not through. G2 could fall as well. And in the next game, if Cloud9 goes down to Hellraisers, three of the teams that have won very big tournaments this year yeah. could not be in the major, which is actually quite incredible. Well, then towards B we go again. They have got Venn's control, and two of the CDs waiting for them. No teammates to back them up just yet. Henny is coming in slowly, but it might be a little bit too late. Decent incendiary, though, to slow down G2. So Lucas and Steel going to set for a cross again. Henny will get smoked off, so in turn he'll throw out some utility. Hold them off. Smith is blind, but somehow the... Oh, I was going to say the flash goes back and actually catches off Lucas. Manages to restore vision enough to get the shots through. Lines them up. Phelps will close it. Wraps it around, and he's got them both on the flank. Oh, Lucas is looking very good this game. Continuing to get yes. multiple kills in those fashions. He's up to 12 and 5. Good spray down there. There's good awareness from Immortals overall. You can see they can feel the execution coming in. They've allowed middle to be... Going against them, G2 have got control of that position. They've saved their utility, though. The incendiary drops towards checkers at the perfect time, funneling them towards that entrance altogether. Lucas, like I said, fully blind as well, but the looks of things is spraying them down, still backs him up as well, and the rotation starts to come in. Really good performance from Immortals so far, 6-4, and I think that has to be an eco at this point. Tactical timeout for G2, and I'll have a look at the money for them overall. I think they get $1,900 going to this round. They do indeed. So around 2.5K mark between the five players. Certainly can't buy in this round, so Immortals now over heavily. They want to try and keep as many players as they can going forward into this one. So allow their money to swell. You can see it's already at a decent position here. And Immortals after getting thumped on this map by Mouse Sports earlier. Much stronger showing so far. So, a couple of PT50s, a flashbang. I said this sort of round wasn't possible before, Matt, so I'm not going to say that again. Maybe they can make something happen with that singular flashbang and PT50s as they look like they're going to be rushing straight up towards A. He goes in, does do massive damage to body. The second one does even more. Phelps, good position behind the smoke. Chance to line all three of them up. Goes to the pistol instead. Doesn't even matter. Thank you very much. That will do. Fast round. Yeah. Obviously, it does like, it's not as strong as before in terms of they had tech nines and PT-50s and some body armor when they rushed A last time. This pretty much just uh, fully could rush towards A. Hope you can find those close range confrontations. Doesn't work out for them, and it will be 7 4 now. Immortals getting a few rounds in a row. I don't think we have an AWP available for G2 here. Would be five AK-47s, limited in the grenades as well. Three smokes, no Molotovs. Molotovs are huge on cash in general, like flushing out positions like the quad area, MBK, the sandbags, the vents. They're so useful and so needed in some situations. And we'll see what they're going to be coming in from G2 at this point. It's going to be Shoxy far towards a main. As we want to push straight through this smoke, looks like he feels like it. And he actually has made his way out to the eighth side as well. Full retake setup from the CTs, stacking towards B, it seems. Bolts long range at car. All right, they want to push through. Good pick from Bolts. Very good pick. If you're going to play outside of the A site, any kill like that you can find, massive. And Phelps, the other player who's pushed up, does get one, gets countered out by RPK. They should funnel them on board the A site. Bomb was out towards Squeaky as well. Scream's going to get that in for a plant now. RPK just gets it off a highway. I think he spotted Bolts. Oh, careful with the nades. Does win it back in the end. And they didn't actually push all the way through B with that aggression. I thought they might go for a fast flank. Instead, they'll play safe. They'll play together. It's going to be two from highway, two from the CT side. Scream has to hit these shots. Those are the ones we expect from him, and they miss. It's going to go eight to four for Immortals. Absolutely right. We do expect him to hit those sort of ones. Even those three versus one situation, a player like Scream presented heads on a plate as well. I thought that was going to be it, but Immortals, there we go. And it will be 8-4 in their favor. It was a full retake setup as well. They're actually stacking towards B. Like I said, G2 known for those full executions, especially when they lose a few rounds in a row. And Bolts, he has to actually hold off shocks. He pushes through the smoke there, rips his head off that AK-47. That's when it's very beneficial for the CT to pick up AKs. You can play a lot tighter angles and actually go for the one-taps instead of having to go for spray downs with the M4. And now, 
Okay, Matt, another interesting scenario for G2. The loss bonus is actually starting to build up now. I think it will be a maximum next round, but still three players going all in. They're going to have to see what they can do with the three AKs, two pistols here. And Body looking to push through this smoke. I don't think the flashbang was decent enough, but he still makes it work. Gets the first headshot. That's all that's going to happen here for the G2 so far. Smith's in a decent position to get the refrag, but still does fall back. Man, Smith's couldn't quite be countered out. Good awareness to realize he's there, so falling back, getting away. The smart thing to do for Steel. 17 HP, he's alone in the inside, but that's... He's this anticipation, at least, that if he rotates out, they still have aggression mid. Bring a high HP player there, and did we funnel them enough? Did we put enough aggression to put them over toward the B site? Well, with this much time gone, they could be anywhere, so... Sit for a second and see if they can solve the riddle. Shocks wow. taking bolts, that opens up every possibility to G2. Every kill just feels so tense. There's so much on the line here. A team like G2 potentially not making the major at the moment. 8-4. They managed to get the man advantage as we hit the one minute mark as well. They've got two players towards mid. The bomb's still in T spawn. They're waiting for a CT to react and make a mistake at this point, which is absolutely fine. They have a lot of time to work with. Scream holding towards the B side of the map. See if anyone pushes towards Squeaky or even the A storage. And think of what G2 is going to be thinking. They beat Envy. Like I said, I thought that was going to be the decider between the two of them. Whoever won that, I thought would go on. Envy gets 0-2 and gets a nice clean path, yeah. due in part to NIP's failures, to win out into the major. Whereas G2, they play Dignitas. Now they play Immortals. It's been a tough tournament for them in that way. Well, then the bomb will be towards being Shoxy once again. He's got low HP. He wants to show some presence towards the A side of the map. If he finds one kill, job done. Should be round over. As he makes his way in, unfortunately, he will be sprayed down, and I think that's going to be the call towards B. So the two players remaining will be Lucas. Backed up as well by his teammate, Penny, and he gets the first shot. Smith goes down. Good shot. Pick it up as well. Penny gets all three, sliding out perfectly, and they'll end it 9-4 to four in this particular round with three players alive. So they continue to build that bank. They're good for the rest of the half. Two rounds left, and they're all around... Well, well over 12k, except for the bolts, but he'll be able to get dropped out. Whereas on the other side, G2, they can buy back in. Maximum loss bonus. There's no utility of going to this B side yet. This is just so easy for an Orpah like Henny to hit these shots. Not necessarily the flashiest ones, but G2 had nothing to work with there. It was up to Shocks to find a kill towards that A side. Or taken down by bolts, gives the call towards the B side. And now then. See that they are. Yeah, wow. One gun round, by the way, for G2. It's absolutely true, wow considering Shocks and Scream are potentially two of the best people with guns in the world. And that's... Ooh, Phelps gets in position. He's played that now three times, if I'm not mistaken. They've been aggressive on A-Main pretty much every round, but no one's really gone there. Well, then, the man advantage once again. We've seen this time and time again from Immortals. It seems to be working. They're getting A-Storage control, finding frags as well. This time, it's Smithster goes down first. Shoxy towards Squeaky Door. It's up to him to find the kill in return, but he's by himself. If he drops round over, I'm afraid, that's one of the AKs, one of the few AKs they've got going down. No one's giving him any sort of movement here to actually find a frag. Still controlling the A storage area and the T's with two smokes remaining and a couple of flashbangs. Still finding it troublesome to actually get anything rolling here in round number 14. Bolts does pick up one missed shot from Henny. That's a rare miss in this game to be fair, but it cost him his life. RPK gets him. Damage dealt in return, but they slip by. This will give them a chance to try and go up highway. Inside the site though. He'll have to find bolts. They're by one himself. advantage at, by himself, but he's also at 19 at exactly that. Molotov will have to push him out. He gets there in time as well. RPK just on top what? of the barrel. Bolts. 19 finds two. Oh. Nearly gets a third. Scream though, running by. Tech 9 will get the bomb down or will he? Goes to the AWP. Tries to get the opening, tries to get the jump on them, but can't. Phelps will control at 10 now for Immortals. Not getting the bomb down here, G2. They keep forcing into these rounds as well. The money's not going to be in a fantastic position, and it's. This A main aggression coming from Immortals, finding these initial frags. Smiths is actually there by the box, hiding, and they still find the initial kill. Lock in shots, like we said, he had to make something happen there. He got taken down as well. Was a little bit of a chance there as Bolts. He was the only player on the A site, and G2 with mid control decides to go towards Highway. If they get the kill on him, maybe we have a glimmer of hope there. Unfortunately not. He finds two kills against the odds. And we're going to round him at 15 here, a potential chance of Immortals winning the first half 11 forehead. Let's have a look at the buy for G2. Four AKs, a UMP, and aggressive once again. They get the first kill. RPK drops and Immortals are just relentless. This is how you play cash. This is how you win big games like this. I'm loving it. This is why you love the map. This aggression. Yeah. A lot of times teams try it and get caught out, but they're doing it time and time again and making it work. Steel. He gets flashed off, but reads it well. Can't reset his aim fast enough to beat down shocks, though. Nope, still inside of this event position. We haven't seen the Molotov oh, flush that, but that'll <laughs> work. He gets over aggressive, I think, and Smith will take it. Still three versus three in all this, because Lucas trades. It was a nice idea. You could hear them actually spamming their bullets. He's hoping to find them on the reload, and then the decent flash through the smoke, which wouldn't have been on the spot, but ultimately still had bullets in that AK. Take him down to a three and three. Still a very winnable situation for either side. Henny with the AWP on the A side, though. 
What's the next move from G2 here? We hit the one minute mark. Yeah, we've got three rifles now. A smoke, a Molotov. Two smokes, in fact, as well. Looks like they will be finishing up towards A. But that's where the orb is as well. Need to negate him first. His kill has to come in G2's favor. Just waited out. He's trying to get position toward quad. Flashed. Doesn't get the first shot. Still in position. Perfect on the second attempt. Back shown. Doesn't quite land it. Whoa! Oh, the no scope, though. He gets it set in time. Scream goes down. Body will still pull this back to a one versus one. And it's Henny's evil twin brother that's going to go against him, Lucas, who's been absolutely hot throughout the course of this match. Yeah, he's lost track of him, though. He has no idea where Lucas is. The bomb's down towards Quad. He's running out of time as well. Lucas going towards Squeaky Door. This could go either way. He seems to be convinced. He's coming from the connector position as well. And at this point, Lucas will hear him actually going for the plant. This could fall apart for Body. Smart from Body. Puts a smoke down, goes toward it. If he plants, default door opens and he's in the open. Now he's going to hear that door. Tries to spray toward it. Knows he's escaped in that direction. He's not tagged by any of that, but Lucas will win it out, and it'll go 11-4 and half for Immortals. Another three kills for Lucas. He's been phenomenal in this first half. So many rounds with high-impact, multiple fracking <laughs> occasions as well. This is him pushing that B storage area. This has been so strong for Immortals throughout this first half. G2 can't do anything about it. They're holding up in the defaults, and Immortals just keep pushing and out-dueling them every single time. Henny alone on this A side. Here's the replay. No scope, of course. Takes down Scream, and the 1v1 does not work out. Tournament life on the line. Major on the line here for G2 and 11-4 down on cash. They need this pistol, G2. They go onto the CT side here. And normally I favor the, the pistol towards the T's. Obviously you can just go stack the numbers, rush towards B, or do something like we saw from G2. Four door, flash in, and just overwhelm the CTs. You have to hit that first pillar to have a chance to hold off so many numbers on the A or B side. So look at some of the numbers, as they'll certainly, from Envious did last game, G2 will certainly take the time available to them at half. It's been a pretty impressive game from both of the twins, to be fair, and in the mix with them, Bolts is on 15, not to discredit him, Henny has a little bit less, but on the AWP, it's his impact, I have to say. I haven't Here seen much. Go. Yeah, there it is. This is Shox, the best performing player so far, but to be fair, no one's really shone for G2 overall. He's got 83 ADR, but look at Bolts. Not normally one of the headline acts of Immortals. We normally look towards Phelps or Henny, but uh, he's had a great game so far. Lots of solo interactions with G2. Good positioning from him, getting multiple frags as well towards that A side. Seven assists. Lucas has more kills. He's on 16, but seven assists for Bolts. Yeah. That's why ADR is so important, because how much damage is he doing to make his teammates' job easier? Well, I'll tell you what is important. It's going to be this pistol round. We'll have a look at the buy. Four Immortals here. He had a P250 in the hands of Steel. He's got a smoke and a flashbang as well. Same story for Henny, but he's got the Glock. And it looks like, Matt, it could be the exact same strat, you know. Four door, one main still. He gets Henry the smoke. G. Everyone's what have you, loving you've it. You've gone and told everyone this strat, I haven't know, you? I know, I have, apparently. Ever since I did that show match, everyone wants to go. I still blame Kenny. Smiths will get in behind quad. So this is what you do. You flash in, smoke towards highway. Actually, no one's going to be doing that straight out. That's why you smoke it. And now it's oh. going to be easy kills of Smiths. Finds two headshots. Three. Wrapping back around. Perfect position for him. And it's going to be shocks to follow that. This is going very well for G2. Another pistol won by them. So they've won both pistols, keep in mind, and only got one gun round in the whole match. So they've got to start converting those. That goes without saying. So Immortals go for the exact same strat there, right? But they don't smoke highway at the start of the round. So that's why they're struggling. So the guys coming out the door, they've got to look towards highway and quad as well, and the bomb site and forklift. You want to be eradicating risk in that pistol. I'm not sure why he wouldn't throw this smoke. He had it at A main. So it means they can just focus on towards that quad area. It should be flashed in. And uh, that's why G2. You can see Smiths, like, he can't believe his love. This player's not even looking at quads. They just, just pop their heads off one by one. Nice discipline from him and good uh, actual skill in terms of the USP. But uh, here we go then. Immortals do force up in the second round here. They've got three smokes to work with. Will be an execution. G2 looking to hold them off. They have got their classic SMG focus by here. Four UMPs and a singular M4A1S. Smokes come in. Body trying to react to it. Drops the incendiary. But here we go then. Shocks by the forklift with the SMG. He's going to push. I think he's lost himself a bit in that smoke, or is he waiting? Not sure if he ran into the back of Fork. Either way, he's holding for the wide in case they do push through his body. He's going to get challenged. Lines up one, gets a second, smartly swaps to the pistol immediately, and that's when Shock strikes because the smoke near him dissipated, and Body stays alive to get his third. So convincing. And they'll build up cash, specifically Body, on the SMGs. Yeah, great round. Now G2 do have something to work with here. Like you said, both pistols going in their favor. One gun round so far. And they go into this round, number three of the half. Not really much more is going to do here. No bombs going down at all for them. So G2 more than happy to keep the SMGs up at this point. Smiths are the only...
very viable and gun rounds going forward as well. So this is a nice position for them to be in. Won't be the best of buys unless the mortals can get the bomb down in this round. Very unlikely, all things considered. They have Glocks and one P250, a singular flash fang, which sometimes can be effective if timed to perfection here. I think we pop through that smoke and let's see what they can do. There it is, but Smith's opening things up. And we have got some A-Main control. And Smith's looking to line them up in the bends here. He hasn't had the best first half here, but gets a couple of frags there. And it'll just be poor old Phelps with the Glock. Maybe get a burst fire kill here. There it is, body goes down. Burst fire, very tricky to actually make any kills happen with you, but those kind of situations you've got to play on your face. It's difficult to miss. Remember, do you remember the very start of CSGO? Yes, like I do. 2012. When the when clock was like... Yeah, burst fire was like a laser beam <laughs> across the map. To be fair, the, the clock map. was like... A, like It was very rare for see these in wind pistols, but the clock yeah. was so sick. Run and gun, 100% accuracy, one bullet headshots. Considering people that hate on the gun's weakness now, if you didn't play the start of CSGO, it's kind of funny to see, you know, sort of so many people complain about it. It was insane. Yeah, it was Glock P90, best buy in the world. Yeah. Well then, round number 19, like I said, limited Immortals. They didn't get the bomb down at all in this first. But you do have AKs, but bolts, no utility whatsoever. They have a few smokes to work with here. And the incendiary locks them out of the fast boost. Scream. May actually want to do the counter boost here with his teammates. It's going to be Shocks, but the flash is good. This could fall apart, but Scream nice finds the first headshot. Very well done. And Shocks goes in to find Phelps retreating. Uh, is this the second gun round? I would say they're getting closer to it. It's only a one-man advantage, because Henny and Steel do well to find frags in return. But smoke off toward A main. I'm down at mid. This will slow things for a moment. Bolts actually wants to try and beat this back. He knows there was aggression. Just a quick check. No need to overcommit to it. He goes down here. It goes to a three versus one. That's round. Yeah, absolutely. Scream. He's done enough work here at the moment. Doesn't need to overcommit. He's been middle by himself. Just make sure you get information. Stay alive. Waste some time. Get some call for your teammates. Now he has been isolated. Bolts could take him down here. Smiths has done really good to push up in behind them because the longer Scream can hold him in position and he knows yeah. it, hence why he's not peeking. Also knows someone's above. The better position Smiths will get. There it is. Down goes Bolts. Henny does what he can and Body's in position to trade. That's why Scream wants to stay alive as long as possible. Yes, he can take the jewels. He has got very good aim, but that's guaranteed the round. Allows Smiths to get more and more information as Scream just keeps, keeps taking that aggro away as well towards middle. Sure, that Smiths comes in for the easy kill in the back there from mid storage and just good timing from him. And there it is. 11-8, G2 clawing back into this game. It's been really rough for them so far. If you are just joining us, loser does not go to the major, and that's quite nuts, all things considered. G2, a staple team at every single major, right? Immortals never made it, but now on the cusp of doing it. Still have the advantage for now, but losing both pistols in that first gun round as well. They were limited, to be fair. Didn't get the bomb down in the first three after some four spies as well. Just had the AKs and no Henny Orb. I think some of the images of the players, this is why these pictures are so important in games like this, have told quite the story. Every time Immortals went around, they're stoked. They're jumping, they're celebrating. We've seen both Lucas, we've seen Henny out of his chair. Everyone's getting into it. G2, what do we see? Shocks looking very stressed. I think they're tense because they're the ones that feel like they have to achieve this. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of pressure on their shoulders. The Major is absolutely everything for all of these teams here. They do have a chance though up against a partial buy here from Immortals. Tech 9, speedy 50s, Deagles. Bit of armor as well, decent hit towards any, he goes down to 53 HP. Not too much to do here. The CPs need to hold back, don't need to overcommit. Let's get the crossfires going and scream. will be by himself towards middle, but that's Ooh. what we've come to expect from this man. Wow. Three headshots, very pretty stuff indeed. He does go down eventually, but he's done all the hard work at that point. Just bolts towards B storage, and he's been discovered as well. So Immortals got absolutely smashed by Mouse Sports on this map. They can't take anything for granted here because now they've lost what is the second gun round that G2 have had to play? They've lost five in a row in this half. In total, we're two rounds separating uh, them. There is a chance still, and as you say, this is what we expect from Scream. Nice precision against three. Can you imagine how crushing it would be for the likes of Shoxi not to make it to the major? They've had such a roller coaster year. A couple of big wins here or there, but mostly disappointment across the board. Player changes, and then I'm not sure what will happen if they do not make it to the major. It'll be very interesting to see where the team lies going forward. And we talk about the 10 different winners of premier level events. That's what I kind of consider sort of the 2050 or 250,000 yeah. dollar and above. Keep in mind, Immortals did win DreamHack Summer, did the blind up, but they did it against NIP. So they've won an event this year as well. Pick up from RPK, gets the back of Bolts, and that's a good trade to get. Also gives him forward position. They'll know he's there, so they can actually try and push in and get aggressive on him as a result, knowing that. I thought, okay, so Scream doesn't. I thought Scream was going to try and get up to support him to babysit him out of that position, but he's done well to find that kill himself. Yeah, very well indeed. RPK now with the controller sunroom as well. Scream is coming out that direction. There it is. That's the smoke to get him out. So aggressive stuff from G2 to start of the round. It was Smiths actually leading the charger. He legs the first player, but goes down there. Pretty unlucky in that sense, but RPK does the damage needed to take down the low HP player and good control from Summer as well. He's pretty much guaranteed the round at this point. As long as they stay alive and play two on either bomb site. Still some work to do there, if any, on the AWP. 
A minute remaining as well, but lovely setup so far. Shocks goes onto the, the orb himself. He'll be actually holding in the A site. And Scream with a defensive hold. In terms of utility, we still have smokes available. It will be a beast out of the tap. They can smoke towards heaven and CT spawn as well, but Henny, he wants to get his first pick and things to an equal kill. Check with the Molotov back of the checker room. And it works out, RPK's there, they do push him back. This brings it to three versus three, and they've got a bit to work with in this B site. Not only that, did they just reverse, okay, so I thought they reverse boosted Henny to cover off fence. Instead, they're just sitting to wait, but they're gonna push through these smokes. Bomb going down default, they don't have vision of it. And Steel realizes it goes, uh oh, hold on, I gotta get off the bomb and try and kill. The problem is that denies the plant. He would have had it if he stuck it. And now Henny's left to his own devices. Great play from G2. Well, there it is. Immortals there. They managed to bring it down to the three on three. They get bombsite control as well. But the plant comes in. But where are the teammates? They're so set up for the post plant situation. Scream just takes the opportunity to run on the side there. Deny the plant coming in there. And the round falls apart at that point. This is it from his POV. I think they chucked another smoke in from the CT side. And you can see the plant, like he said, he thinks, oh god, this is actually going to fall apart. Might have wanted to stick the plant, all things considered. Obviously, hindsight is a very beneficial thing for us. But through the smoke, Scream finds a second frag and Henny. Locked out of that situation in 13 seconds and three kills to find him, no bomb down. Not much you can do. And, and I, I th again, it was smoked off, but no one watching it when they ran in. So now we get a timeout that, tactical they, from They seem so focused on the post plan. They thought the bomb's definitely down here. We've got the mo They had so much utility, and to be fair. They smoked CD spawn, they monotoft to heaven as well. They were focusing towards the vents. They thought, okay, let's get in a situation where we can hold off this retake. But Scream, he saw an opportunity and he took it. And now 11 10 after winning a singular gun round in the first half. Both pistols has got GT back into this. Still the lead is Immortals with the bomb going in. They can get a buy here, but this is when things start to become troublesome. You keep force buying in. Yes, you can get the full rifles here, but Cash, such a utility orientated map. They've only got three smokes, no Molotovs. Two players have absolutely anything. There's a flashbang in the hand of Lucas there. And it's going to run number 22. Smiths open things up towards Beast Story. It's double kill as well. Finally coming to life. It's Smiths. Five on three. And it's going to funnel the rest of the terrorists towards A at this point. Wow, what a turn of events. Immortals again looking very slow on a T side. Shocks still waiting with the second AWP and behind Quad has body to buy him some space. Door open, Molotov in. That'll force them back. But Immortals, man, oh man, they need to find something. Gifted an opportunity in the fact that a missed shot comes with the shots, but body's able to wall in and find steel. He's tagged up. Bring this to a two versus four. You might be all right, but look at the rotation throw into the site. Any. He can find the next one, might have a chance. Phelps has done his job, stay alive. Just let Henny go to work. He's got Scream down to a two versus two. Bombs not able to be planted. It's well truly outside of a main. They've got to go back for yeah. it. And in doing so, Phelps has lost 55 seconds for Henny to work with. He can start playing the mind games. Well, two on one, like you said though. The advantage he has, lots of time available. Has to run in towards that B site. Hope for the best here. Smith seems to be catching on at this stage. He's only got the orb though. He needs to be careful. If he drops for RPK, has a chance to back him up. That could be a massive problem. The plant comes in. Going for the safe plan, not ideal, but Smiths now, like I said, if he drops, that's a massive problem. He takes down to 50 HP at that point, but at least they know where Henny is. He managed to stay alive. That could have been a massive kill, but you're right, they're together. Flash out, still isolates. Oh, Henny! That's what they need! Three kills for him and a brilliant play to win out the round. And there it is, that's what we're talking about, that emotion. He's been out of his chair now twice in this game. Amazing scenes, who would have thought? Smiths with his first two frags as well, and I have to say, sloppy play from G2 overall. They had this man advantage, and they're running into scenarios where they can't actually actually you have decent refrag potential. I think it was screaming running towards Fork that's trying to end it as quickly as possible here. But a great spray down with the Galil as well of all weapons. Smiths managing to stay alive in that situation as two versus one, waiting for the backup, the correct thing to do, but what a play. Game like, game like this, keep that round in mind. They are facing reset, they only had one player stay alive, but they can break G2 here, that could be a game changer. Yeah, absolutely. Frustrating round for G2 there, just to tie things up at that point, but they lose the round against all odds, and it will be a full reset potential, sure, for Immortals, but they're going to be fired up after that one. Smiths this time doesn't have the orbit actually in the hands of Shoxy towards the other side of the map. RPK in the vents. Bomb down for now, this will be a default. Let's slow things down as Bolts is in the sun room. Yeah, and they're going to know he's there. They saw the nade come in, RPKs realized that came from that direction. So he's got to kind of consider both sides of it. They've got to get Smiths to watch the cross, and he's doing that now. RPK can look back toward mid. Back to back, grab the bomb. Slow but sure. They've only got three smokes on the Immortal side. One smoke, to be fair, for RPK on the CT side. They do have Molotovs on top of that, though. Very tense now, Immortals. 
I haven't really got that much map control at all. They will be finishing up towards air. I think they've boosted up Phelps for the backstab potential there towards highway. They will execute with a few amount of smokes they have, three of them to be exact. So let me smoke towards quad, the bomb site and highway. But you can see GT ready for this one, especially Shox now. He needs to deliver with this orb. Oh, lovely shot from Henny. Shox goes down. He's got position on the catwalk, good pick up and return, but he's down to 6 HP, and he's down One. to just he and a teammate left. Somehow he finds Lucas. That's got a drop bomb inside of the site temporarily, but it won't matter. Phelps will close out on Smith, so now they're rolling. They've got two in a row, three to go, and the economy gets quite limited in a few players, but look at Body. He's got 11-8, so he can actually start throwing guns out. 11 grand for Body. That's interesting, because his teammate's in about 3k mark. He can drop over an orb, and a couple of famuses that they wanted to buy up into this one. That's why I take the pause. This is such a difficult position to be in. What do you do here? Do you go all in, potentially lose the round and have nothing going forward? Or do, or do we... Take a bit more of a partial buy here. Let the money swell. Make sure we have everyone on the weaponry. Get the orbs down. We have that double orb set up again. Immortals there. Very slow pace around. A D4 to kick things off. And we said Shoxy had to step up the orb there. Out jeweled by Henny once again. It's been so back and forth. Just to look like G2 are running away with the second half. Immortals come to life. At the hands of Henny. To be fair, he finished it off in the two versus one and opens up that previous round as well with the orb shot. Doing everything he can to keep the dream alive here. We said 11K for body. He has invested absolutely everything. You can see 11 grand gone, Matt. Yep, he had to. He's got to get guns to his teammates. They're only yeah. way into the round. He's the bank account. That's what I was saying, though. Like, do you have the option to go for the partial by allowing to get the 14, but this is the all-in moment. The interesting thing on that, Henny's staying very passive in case of a push-through, and that suggests they might expect pistols here, because I don't... It's easy to keep track of the money overall, but are they keeping track of body? The fact that he was able to farm up that much? Yeah. That's true, but it's not like they've got the orb, like the surprise orb, right? They have got Famous' M4s and a CZ, so even if they come across them, they still have the advantage of the weaponry. They're going to be slowing things down. This is a way to approach situations. Feel out the map first. Actually bleed out the CTs in terms of any actual utility they have here, and you can get some sort of idea as to what they're presenting towards you. You'll hear some bullets and some wall bangs coming in soon, so they'll know the M4s are prevalent. As Phelps does get booted up once more. This is a big round map. This is absolutely massive. If Immortals can pick this up and get 14-10, the money will be in disarray for G2. And it could be the moment they actually solidify the victory here. Smith's in checker. Good Molotov. Yeah, that's going to push him out one on either side. They bounced in both directions. There's Burn not him. much hiding room. He's got to dance on about a pixel between the two of them. Those... Oh, okay. So that's... <laughs> he's a Targaryen, apparently, because he stands between two and the only probably tile in the entire room he's got to stand on. He's going to get aggressive as well. Oh, it's good. Oh. Nearly work. Missed op shot could have been the death of Henny. Steel's there to trade it back. Shocks. Other side of the map's gonna pick up a kill. This will force them in toward B site. And Steel's gotten close. Little pop flash wants to try and get through the smokes. Doesn't quite go far enough. Scream still has vision on this, but they're in behind him. And how does he choose to play this? Still at headshot. They're spraying in. They've got him isolated. And well done from Steel to find that kill. It's not done yet. There's still only a man up. That changes it significantly. Body very limited. And I think it's gonna be two rounds for Immortals. That's all they need. They're 14-10 over G2, and now the money becomes a massive problem. That was the force buy. This is the round they needed. Ooh. You can see the Molotovs. How did he find the room to stay alive? That's designed to take these players down, at least make them fall back and give the AWP a chance to take him down. Smith just about survives, but it's not enough to win the round here. Great B execution there from Immortals, and you can see Scream desperate to make something happen there. Was alive towards Hedgehog, but he's dealing spam and flash all over the shop. And we go to round number 25. It looks like they have to go. Oh, my God. They're going to have to take this in overtime. They're going, not going all in in terms of the buy here. They're taking an eco. PT-50s, 5-7s, Immortals one round away from major point here. And they've got the AKs. They've got the orbs. They've got the utility they need. G2, a lot of pressure. This is a very stressful situation. You're already expected to be at the major, and now you're letting the underdogs get in a position when they have five rounds to work with. Helps toward the vents. Busts out the first, gives a bit of sound, but look at the flashes. Oh, good read from Bolts to be fair to dodge out the one coming his direction, but it costs him. Might have been better to go and try and find the opening pick because they're putting a lot of pressure in that position. They found two kills. Bomb Low down. on HP, but you're right, Bomb is dropped, and they've got an AK to hold that off. Body needs to throw that over to someone higher HP. Get that to Shox, that Molotov as well. Gonna cover off Bomb. Shox is boosted. Yeah, this would be so disappointing at this point. Nothing really invested from GT. They're taking pretty much an EK, but that's a good smoke to pick up the bomb. And he needs to be careful here. Does he Got get it. it? Just about. Okay, so good work from him. Instead of three on three, they're managing to group up now. But Shock's in a great position. Needs oh. to nail this shot. It's difficult. Misses the first bullet, but does get the dink in. That's so cr crazy. They're going his direction as well. Even if he doesn't shoot, they're going to arrive. Oh. Pick it up, but now they're there. They're inside of oh. a main. It's Scream that pulls it back. He kills Phelps one on one. Realizes, hang on, that's a gun. I'm going back for the AK. 
And as he does God. that, Bomb will get planted. It's Henny again that has to clutch this back. He's got to kill in the round. And Scream has no armor, 41 HP. Aim punch, significant, and he not peeking. Spawns it right away! That is the scream we know! He's gonna pull this back, and never mind overtime, they've got a chance to still pull this off. What a round to deliver scream. The one tap from hell, it seems, and Immortals up against a pretty much full eco there. It was G2 almost submitting in that round, saying, okay, we're gonna have to lose an overtime. P250s, no armor, no nades, stacked towards middle. Immortals make a fumble here, and this is still a possibility. Great flashbang use. I think they had a couple of flashbangs, G2, there. It's RBK to strike first, taking down Bolt as well, but what the hell was this shot? Heady He's got an AWP as well. The one tap saves the day. Jesus. Oh, that was the one, the eco to get major point there. It's going to tilt them slightly. I'm not sure the money's in a great position. I can see the buyers coming in now. Bolts on the Tech 9. Lucas on the Deagle as well. Wow. This could be G2's ticket back into this one. I'm a bit surprised you, you, for, you still have another round on this. You force this one, you're going to save the next. Then you're playing 14 14 potentially. <laughs> It'll be 14-13, and you're playing for a tie game or match point, and you're letting them build up. I would have sat on a save here. Well then, well I guess at this one they don't want to allow the CT economy to get to a point if they do win this round somehow. Full reset, and they're in the driving seat once again, right? So that's what they're looking at. It's a bit obviously both of the races choose your poison at this point, but it's a good point. But um, we'll see. AWP for Henny. I guess that's what they're banking on. He said, "I can get the orb. I'm opening this map up time and time again." But what a clutch that was from Scream. This game has been absolutely excellent. Number 26 now. Too much to work. A couple of smokes and some Molotovs here. No real map control coming in, in as of yet. Does Lucas want to push him with a splash? I think he does. Pretty much gives himself away. A huge gap in that smoke. Shocks him. Can't believe a player just runs into a crosshair like that. That was a bit of a cluster in terms of smokes. There was three down and none of them were really placed. So we oh. see them. Here we go. Steel gets Smith, so that's one of the AKs. It's going to push them back inside of the site, which is now completely open. So <gasps> bomb oh, plant him in. Position. You're dead right. This is so sick. Shocks, though. Okay. <laughs> what? That's amazing. He's actually just checks it. preempted that. You think the bomb's going down towards A? I thought that was it. Bolt's going to find two kills here. Let them run past, but that's great from Shocks. Four on three for now. Still, that gives them some time and space. Phelps in behind Fork knows he can't go to main. They're going to come in that direction. Shocks. Tagged up on the way through. Down by Phelps. Two more players in his lineup. Does damage onto both of them. Massive damage. He'll go down while he's occupied, but this gives his teammates a chance. Swings out. It's just two players on red. Body left alive, swings in, finds one, still can't find him, just has to protect the bomb! Misses the first no! shot, body swings wide, he's gonna grab it, it's gonna be an eco now for Immortals! And G2 might have a chance to get a 13th after this 12th. 14 HP separates it, Immortals did absolutely everything there, two versus one as well, it's just so chaotic. You can see the quality of the CS dripping, but uh, still, very, very exciting stuff. Body keeps the dream alive, just about running through fire there as well. Still with the HP advantage, just can't get it done. One bullet would have done it, but Body gets the advantage there. 14 12. Still, money going to be in a tight situation for both sides here. We'll see what we can do. There is about $2,500 available here for Immortals. And a tactical timeout comes in. They've actually bought Phelps an AK 47. He's not all in, he's gone to 1700 with that buy. What a brawl! Yeah, an absolute brawl. You can see how tense he's running. Every single one, Matt, it's come down to like a 1v1, a tight clutch with Molotovs everywhere and some missed shots and some high-octane moments. Still G2, keep it alive here. Round number 27, the buy comes in. Not a full commitment from Immortals, but they've done damage to these rounds before. AK in the hands of Phelps, the superstar of the team. Looks like maybe just a B-Rush coming in here as well. Smith's to hit the reputation first, nails wow. that first shot. Just for more, tag to five, wow. can't get behind box. Gives them... A kill and an AWP down, which favors them on the way through, but good spot from RPK. He's going to fire in, lining them up as well. Three kills for him. Spray down. We're going 14-13. Phelps is on 10 HP. He's got an AK. I'd get out with that while you can. Run. But they're going to hunt you down. A minute and 23. You really expect to save that that long? They know the situation. They know you guys are low on money. Oh. And there it is. Body was waiting for his escape. Well then, the B-Rush not working out. It's Smith gets the first kill and he does go down, but he has called the B-Rush. He's coming at that point. RPK doing a very good job. He knows they've got pistols and potentially don't have head armor as well. He stays strong there with a full spray down of 14-13. GT starting to close the gap now. Three in a row for them. The buy's come in once more. It's a decent one for Immortals. You open the hands of Henny once again. They just want to get that match point, at least release some of that pressure going forward. Still though, no double orb set up this time for G2. Just going to be in the hands of Shoxy. Smith will be... And now weapons to go towards the in-game lead-up. Spraying some bullets through there. Doesn't do too much damage, but it'll be enough to just push them off a certain position if they are trying to get aggressive. RPK 
Okay, back to vents through mid this time. Bit of a change of his approach. Shox is getting aggressive as well with the AWP. We've seen this time and time again. He looks for the boost. It's the wrong way to look. Still flicks to catch steel. But he just gets around the corner. Watch the spray through. Reactions from Shox, unfortunately. He anticipated someone to be up high on the E-Box waiting for the push, which was actually wrong. This is one of the first rounds we've seen, G2. We have that assertive play at the start of the round. The open towards Squeaky Door. Still, though, takes a lot of damage. We get the headshot now. Five on four. Immortals, plenty of time to work with it. Over one minute as well. They have a player boosted up. CT's desperately trying to work out what the next move's going to be. It's body with the AWP, not known to be one of those superstar AWPers, trying to work out what's going to be the best position to get one kill, stay alive. He opts towards Quad. Next time now, Immortal setting up for an A-sided attack, like we said it before. Phelps will be there for the backstab there, stop the rotations as his teammates make their way towards the A-side. The next kill, very important. Henny, he had jeweled socks last time, and it'll be the same sort of scenario as he goes towards quad, and that's where Body's going to be waiting for him. So tense. Flash towards Henny, pushed back. Phelps still manages to dodge it, catch out three, but the trades go back the other way. G2, RPK specifically getting two. It's going to give them the man advantage to work with. And he tries to get baited in by his teammate. He jumps around 19 seconds, and you're, de you're right. He did tag him up. It's going to push him back in behind Quad. That also opens up this possibility. Molotov out of position. Good read from Henny. Steel's also got to come through on this because he's flashed out in the open, and RPK swings over to catch the bomb down. And he's got four seconds. Round over. He's got four seconds. Can't go down after. Thankfully, not after the time. But 14 14. G2, after winning that eco, has pulled this back. And there's very little money again for Immortals. We said overtime. Might be Immortals that has to play for it. RPK is stepping up in these big rounds. He's got multiple frags before towards B. Coming from the vents, he finds three. Just as it was looking promising for Immortals as well. The backstab from the vents. And now it's 14 14. G2, certainly in the driving seat. I'm looking at that cash going forward. It's a very. Very telling sign that things are in trouble now for Immortals. You can see 3K average for them. Are they going all in? How I, hard I think they have to. Be. Yeah, absolutely. After such a fantastic performance in that first half, 11-4, they've lost both pistols and they find themselves tied up with no money. I think they have to take the partial by here and go for overtime. The boots on the other foot this time with G2 in this position before who managed to prevail. Round number 29, we've gone the full distance here. So the final buy comes in for Immortals. Tech Nines, Deagles, and Molotov. Three sets of armor and a couple of flashes. That's about it. No orb though for a G2. That's a five rifle set up, and they've got a little bit of residual cash as well. And here it is. Maximum loss bonus for Immortals next round. That's why they're going for this partial buy. They want to take things to overtime here. Still can buy. You can still win these rounds, of course, but it's very unlikely. Boost up on Tech Nine. Two inside of A main. Not uncommon in Counter-Strike for whatever reason, at big rounds, Yeah. go to the eco. We already saw that once this game from G2. The room would just erupt if that happened. Body at fence takes a quick peek in toward A main, and Shox is going to relocate. Knowing that he didn't spot any one of the doors open, it lets him get a Molotov inside. Meanwhile, Phelps has got up toward Highway. If they can win this kill against Scream, Perhaps smartly backs away. It gives them so much opening. They're gonna go in the open as well. Tech Nine gets one only. Screams able to swing. Not only that, turns back, catches bolts and bodies in the corner still. It's gonna be map point G2 after all of this. Unless Henny does something absolutely insane to get this back. Spots him in behind the quad, but bodies smartly shuffles over to the right. What? What a turnaround. This looked like 14 going to 15-11 in favor of Immortals, and it's G2 that could knock them out right now and go on to the major. It's the full EK, the United as well from G2. What a game this has been so far. Scream looking confident here. Didn't have too much against him. He had a player coming from highway, deals with him, switches back towards the A main, nails the shots, but this is it. Now Immortals went for this play, the all-in moment in round number 30, allowing G2 to get to match point here. And it comes down to this one. Open in the hands of Henny. Same story for Shox as well. Seem to have picked up the primary orbing responsibilities at the latter stages here on Cash. We're going to a situation where Immortals only have two smokes remaining as we hit the one near 40 mark. It's not ideal, but Henny's been very good at opening up the map so far. Body by that squeaky door, not pushing in just yet. So many bizarre factors in this. We talked about Henny's clutch on B, that, that it could change the game. They started to break them down with them. Body with 11k buys out his teammates. That gives them a, a round to spare. And then they win an eco. An eco trumps all. Yeah, an eco with not much to work with. A few P250s and five sevens and a stack towards middle. Immortals are going to be looking back on that round for years to come if that's the one that actually decides it. 
flash into A main. They've got position at lockers. It's body that's there. Steal out towards Squeaky, but the rest of the immortal side grouping, and it's looking like it's going to be on A. Volts is still waiting over at B. He's not going to be able to find anything. Smith's not peeking in checker, and it's going to be a boost as well for G2. Why not throw the book at them? Every tactic you have to close this now, not only with a boost, they also have Shock staring down. I take it, did they go? No, they didn't quite. So Shock's actually still hits it. Didn't go for the boost, but he swings out, tries to catch door. I thought they did. No one actually got on top of his head. He's inside a main though. Oh, up close. One Nearly HP. catches himself out. One HP, but it's an AWP. You still would have thought he might have hit it. This opens a chance. That certainly does. Phelps pulls it back to three versus three. Scream goes wide, tries to catch them from the top of highway, goes down on the back of a flash, and Phelps is left in the open 13, just gets around, but that leaves him at truck, so RPK reads it, pulls it back, two versus two, bomb planted. Kits on both players, a lot of time to work with, they get ever closer onto the site, and Bolts, watching for the flank, doesn't know that both are in these positions, but he's also not peeking out. Steel's going to be the one to get the information. He watches onto Fork now. Smith's just going to get there. He's flying it up. Good flash through. And now he's got the information as to where RPK is. And RPK thinks he's killed him. Looks away too soon. We've got overtime. We certainly have. Immortals have done it. Oh my god, what a game this has turned out to be. G2 just looking to close things out there, managing the first kill as well, but Phelps doing an absolute masterclass there from Shaw. Just taking players down and being ruthless there. Decent flashbang from Bolts to give an opportunity to take down the kill and Smith's RPK fall. They go to overtime. And so back and forth, Matt. I, you feel like Immortals deserve to win this, considering the situation they're in. I think it was 14-10 at one point. They were up against a full eco from G2. It slipped away from them, but they managed to bring it to overtime. And it still has a few more twists of turns. We fully reset here as we go into the first round. 10k MR3. All for both sides, of course. And now, I've got a feeling that Immortals have got a lot more room to move here. They've actually got some money to work with. We'll see what they can do to open up the first round here on the T side. Flash goes in. Aim A, no one's going to push it this time, so Steel is going to take advantage of that, try and get up behind the box. Meanwhile, at mid, RPK aggressive gets flashed off smoke. I think it might have gone deep. No, it did bounce back far enough. Okay. So no gap on the inside of that. And he's the one that's waiting there with an AWP as well. If he gets pushed, that could be a disaster does have a boost going on behind him. Phelps is already up on top of the canopy. Molotov invents from Lucas. So that'll clear part of mid. That suggests they definitely want to take over this territory on the map. Yeah, you can see Bolt still towards B storage as well. So I suggest the B split coming in, but Phelps boosted up. He has a player beneath as well, oh. makes a noise. Oh, he didn't look down, he didn't check it. That's huge, Scream picks up that kill. He could have been gone. Scream didn't even look until he heard the noise. Just the counter boost coming in as well. What a perfect time to do it. Scream finds another kill there. His second of the round. Five on three now. The bomb has been dropped as well. Still trying to do what he can, but the round has fallen apart here for Immortals. After still on the A site, finds a kill, but it might be a redundant one at this stage. They have picked up the bomb, and the A site is open, but it's going to be a four on two situation and an absolute nightmare of a round for Immortals now. But they'll slow it down. Henny needs to get in. Smoke to highway for a cross. Doesn't quite get all the way there, blinded partially, and he wants the shot with the off, he wants to catch them! Didn't quite get it, Smith's tagged up if I'm not mistaken. He goes down to 33, Steele's got to defend him now, and look at Scream's position as well, they are all around, completely surrounded inside of the site, Flash, Henny taken down, good trade back from Steele. So there's three more to find, Molotov goes forward, tags Smith's again, but he'll prevail, and it's going to be the first round of overtime to the French side. Did what they could there, but they go for the mid control, and it's going to be G2 more aggressive this time towards that boost position as well. It's Phelps going up first. He makes noise, pretty much gives his position away. You can see him drop down. This is the moment. Scream knows he's above him. Checks it. There it is. Goes down. They go for the counter boost as well. Scream picks up an AK. This is the shot that really decided the round. He finds that kill. Bomb dropped. Really, really nice play from G2. We're starting to see them find their confidence once more. They've looked a little bit caged so far, but it's Scream hitting some really, really big shots at the moment. And Immortals lose the first round. They did what they could there in the 4 on 2, but unfortunately, the bomb going down just didn't really have enough to work with, work with there in terms of HP. Well, that tweet says it all. A few rounds to decide who goes to the major, and this is a major caliber game. Both these teams are worthy of a spot. But there can only be one. Kind of heartbreaking in that way sometimes, but it's Counter-Strike for you right now. Suddenly. Shock's waiting for the boost. 
Falls away. Crisscross smoke, so this could suggest vent control, but that's what they're trying to sell because look at Squeaky. Occupied with bomb and two players. Yeah, right. It's an absolute fake here. Let's try and keep those CT players towards mid. They had a three-man stack towards that area before. They're trying to suggest they're going for mid control. It's going to be an A-sided approach, but Shock's open things up, taking down Lucas. Good shot as well to start it off. Gets another one as Phelps goes down. There's just three remaining. There was a trade back. One direction. Somehow finds himself through a smoke with a player directly in front. May not matter. Left in the open, they're going to bring this back to two versus two. Steel's very low, though. Nine HP. Bolts with bomb, and they're going to try and get away. Oh. They can do it toward that squeaky door, but they may have missed the opportunity. Smith's is going to slide in. Flash is timed perfectly. In behind the box, he gets his vision back, sprays, and Steel goes down. That's a round changer. It could be two in a row for G2. Bolts, he's going to stick the plant default. Swing out, knows there's 1A main. Hence the Molotov to hold him off to allow the plant. But RPK is so far away, and he does hit the shot. It's going to be 17 for G2. Perfect timing on the flashbang towards A main there. It's Smith's fully flash, has to hide it. Did still miss the shot? Did he not have enough vision on him to actually take it down? I thought that was a lock in at that point. Perfect reaction, and here's Shoxy. Just getting the job done here with the AWP. One kill towards middle, then the forklift as well. And the two on two. They did really good work to get into that situation, but now it feels like the dream could be slipping away here. As we go into round number three, final of overtime here in the first half. It will be four AKs and a galil for Henny. Doesn't have that AWP anymore. G2 looking for 3-0 here. They've gone for the double orb set up. Smith, he has been taking that towards B and a decent game so far. Shocks, of course, presumably back towards middle. This three-man mid-stack has been working out quite nicely for them. What can we do here? Lucas passing it towards mid, trying to do some damage there. It's going to be a bit of a tall order to make anything really happen when you just got the A game. Any with the Lil as well. We talked about that. They've done well to be able to buy in all three, all things considered. Didn't mention that, but most people know by now. If you don't, MR3 overtime, 10k start, you lose two with a heavy investment. You could be forced to save up, or forced by, obviously, as you would do in the third round. Well then, in terms of utility, we have got smokes available, three of them, but no map control gained as of yet. They could go for the set piece towards A. We haven't seen much of that from Mortals. Very default orientated team, it seems. Time ticking away. We hit the one minute mark and they will be adjusting. They have been boosting one player towards mid and then allowing him to stop the rotations, go for the backstab. Has been locked down a few times, but they need at least one round here. The 3-0 doesn't feel like he'll be strong enough going forward since G2 have started to wake up here. Flashes towards A. Smoke on the bomb side, presumably coming in, and this is it. 25 second mark, and the final commitment comes in now. Slight change of setup because they've got shocks at quad. Lovely flash in. Body can't land anything on it. And he's gonna get the kill, but Scream's in the corner. Tags up the second after knocking down Steel, and now he's got him lined up. Scream gets three. I was daring to say that might be enough, but it's not quite. There's two HP left on Phelps as they pull it back, so still an even situation, minus the fact that the HP is very low. RPK could have easily taken Henny on that alone. Smoke out though, Phelps has a chance, he's firing in, that's gonna leave him extremely mm. low and in the open as RPK hunts him down, flash out. They're gonna win all three in the first half of overtime. That may be enough. It might that, be. That said, T sides have been low for both sides. It's absolutely true. Remember, G2 only got one gun round there in regulation. Scream there, it looked a little bit too easy for him. Yes, Immortals were limited and didn't really go for the set piece. It didn't really have much of that on their T side at all. It's G2 finding the 3 0, a very comfortable place to be. One more round to do it. If you're not aware, in the top of the screen, it's the first of 19. Is that, is that an advantage, though? G2 come out of regulation, they're warmed up, they're ready for the yeah, CT right. side. Immortals have to swap over and reset. Is that is that like a. You know, maybe that first round, you need two strikes. I would say you're going to be the more frustrated team, right? You feel like you should have done it. You lost to a full eco. And uh, yeah, now it's the time for G2 to kind of think what the mistakes were. Why weren't we winning rounds on the T side? And they'd be fired up again, the 3-0. They're going to be confident now. And maybe have a little bit more flair that we didn't see before. One round on the T side. It's all it's going to take to guarantee G2 a spot in the major here. Into that first round. Fast is what we wanted to see. None of this before. And Shox looking to get the first kill. Does do the damage, but can't find it. Phelps find him a scream in return. That's quite good from Phelps. To go 1-1 one, one when he's absolutely yeah. outrun and outgunned. It's a massive problem, though, because they actually do get caught off. Bolts does take down the rest today, main. So he's the savior in the round. But that's a oh big God. job done from Phelps. If he goes down alone there, that's a big advantage for them to have mid. I'm getting stressed out in these rounds. I can't imagine what the atmosphere is like in the G2 camp. Like I said, we didn't see much of those fast approach from them in the regulation time. This time, they've got the money working for them. They have the orb, but they want it. Full utility, go for that fast mid play. And Shoxy, he had vision on Phelps. You're absolutely right to say Phelps did well to even find one kill there. That was amazing. Still backs him up. He finds a kill as well. And the good returns and good trades from Immortals get them in this three-on-one situation. He might as well go for this scream. Definitely capable of winning here with bolts on low HP as well. They don't exactly know where he is, and he's got the bomb in hand. 55 seconds to play, but he just needs one pick. 
And that will open up the window of opportunity. On the highway goes Scream. One versus three. No one in the sight directly. Two flashes to work with. First confrontation is low HP on Bolt 8, and he's going to go hunting as well. Smartly spots, but runs, gets away. No need to reface. Just get the bomb down, force them in his direction. And what's his play? Quad, he stays in the open. Ah. Off, misses, but Henny's not going to. He's already on the bottom of highway, and they'll pull back the first Immortals. And double overtime is the best they can hope for at this case. Yeah, remember. right? They can't even win at this point. They can only get double overtime, which it's still fine. If they get that, then they get the advantage in terms of like the, the mentality going forward, I would say. G2 will feel like they, they should have finished it off right here, right now, but definitely has potential for double overtime there. A change of approach, like we said. You're going aggressive there, but Immortals hold on. G2 do bring out the orb once again. Like we said, it's been a mixed bag in terms of the orb for G2. It's been between Smiths and Shoxy. Towards the end of the tournament, seems like Shoxy's taking it more often than not. There we go then. Maybe at this point they're going for some simpler approaches here. RPK and Shoxy go towards B. They'll be looking for that first pick. RPK would normally jump across, allow Shoxy to maybe go for the first pick, trying to bait out that bullet, but they're waiting for the aggression to come in. Henny is on the B side of the map this time. Bolts is alone again on A. What kind of counter boost coming towards mid? By the looks of things, there it is. Oh, these are so scary to actually go for. The vision there, you can see Smith's waiting for it as well. A lot of CT players will hold that position, wait for the boots coming from the T side, wait for a footstep or a rotation, then peak. And look at his crosshair placement. He's just sitting back. He can strafe back in if the shot's missed against him. It is an M4, he's got to hit him twice. It could be flashed over as well. That's a good point. But at this point, it's just so scary. What a, a prospect going over. If you die, could be the GG. And he's actually given up. Oh, I was going to say given up a position. Time has gone by in such a long fashion that Phelps may have the advantage on this. They're slowly getting over toward the B side of the map. Phelps sees the Molotov go over to check fence. Does he try and capitalize and find the creep? There's the flash he talked about. Hits it perfectly. Now he can get away. Don't he doesn't even need to commit to it. In fact, he's going to stay up there for the option later on in the round. But two inside of B for the CT side. And Smith's RPK and Shocks. All in Sunroom trying to head that direction. Phelps will do the same now and get inside vents. So he's using map to his advantage in every possible way. Yeah, towards B storage we go. Sunroom has always said G2 had very good B executions. Phelps trying to lock that down as well. Does some damage towards RPK. The nades go in, but I think it's going to be a little bit of a fake here. G2 with 30 seconds. An interesting call. Haven't really got map control. I think they've realized they don't have time to work. They have to go back towards B. Phelps gets aggressive. That's no. big overextension. They had the man advantage. And that's going to put a lot of pressure on Hanny. It's the first shot. Smoke off on his left. Has to go for the same angle. Does so. Shots goes down, but Lucas can't find it through the box. Hanny, what a shot to take down Body. And he's still up on the site. Denny's going to do it. What a god. Henny finds four kills. It will be 2 0 here. And it seems like G2 just couldn't work out the mid round situations there. They actually showed a B execution coming in. The smokes and Molotovs were dropped with a couple of flashes as well. They thought, let's do a fake. We'll fall back. We've forced the rotations at this point. Realized they had 30 seconds. Might not have had time to work with that. And there it is. They go back towards B. Henny lights them up four times in a row. The AWP prowess from him has been exceptional. And we go into the final round of overtime here is looking very likely for double overtime. I think we have a pause coming in from Don't G2, of course. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, in terms of the money, Shoxy, $3,400. The rest of the team set around just below the 5K mark. They can certainly buy, but Shoxy won't be able to get the orb unless it's dropped over to him. Everyone, if we look at the stats, everyone's in 20 kills, except for Lucas. And the reason I bring that up is because he started off so He's hot. Had Amazing rounds. Seven kills over two rounds in the first half. He still sits on 17 right now. So he was one of the players that went very quiet yeah. on their T side. But look how close everyone is. Well then, here we go then, Matt. Potentially the last round or the round of the side. Second set of overtime. It's going to be Shoxy just in the Tech 9 here. So a huge advantage for Immortals for the firepower. And a default coming in for now. Shoxy will be working towards the squeaky door area. Maybe he can be the fake here. He can actually try and bait in something. Bolts has been boosted up. Yeah, run boost. They get him into this position. It worked last time they boosted, remember? It was Lucas that was up there. That's where he got that first 4K. When they baited them into the site, smokes came down and aggro was stolen. Eyes on middle from Henny. Scream to push vents, suggests they might want to go that direction, so keep that in mind for Henny's position. No one facing him just yet. This flash there from Henny, not a big deal for now. 
It will be the mid control coming from G2 and A split. I would speculate at this point with RPK towards A main and Shoxi towards Squeaky Door. They're focusing towards the highway area. The bomb will be there for now. 50 seconds, still time to work with. Don't have to overcommit just yet. Just waiting to see if there is a CT reaction coming in. Henny, this is an important play for him because more often than not, when the boost fails because someone gets to the top of the highway and bolts won't be ready. Double smokes off. Oops. Helps. Oh, this is big. He goes aggressive. They're gonna spot him. Still manages to get the shot on screen. Oh, has to get away, but now pulls. He's been spotted. Exactly that from highway. They walk in. It pulls his aggro. And he does get one, but burns from Smith's two versus two in a very fast fashion. Problem is bomb inside of the A site. It's G2 that have the advantage. And remember, this this round they win. Are they going? Okay, they are going to be coming towards A for 15 seconds. I thought they're going to fall back, but Lucas now has got some time to work with it. Body, be very careful, my friend. Oh, he gets the shot, shot. The 180. That's huge. That could be the game alone because Lucas going down. Steel's got pressure on. If he picks that one versus two, they pinch in. But now the site is against them, and that's how it ends. G2 on a lovely shot from Body will find their way to the major. Body on the 180. What the hell was that? It looked like he had no idea. A may could be a possibility. He turned around, finds a shot, and is looking to my left right now. And Mortals look devastated. Lucas, he got so close. Lucas says his head in his hands for missing that one. And as many